Thanks for joining us on KAGS News at 6. I'm Gabriela Garcia. More than 6 million Texans have cast their ballots for the November 3rd election. That's more than a third of Texas's 16.9 million registered voters. And over in Waller County, polling places are being filled with a younger generation of voters. Tatiana Battle has the story. Across Texas, but especially in small towns like Waller County, these are some of the highest early voting numbers they've seen in years. This year, it's been four or five times more people voting than there have in the past. Ben says that people were lined up around the building waiting for nearly an hour to cast their ballots. I'm really proud of Waller County, no matter how they voted. He believes that the final days of early voting leading up to Election Day could be the largest voter turnout this county has seen since 2008. Those two days, we're going to see another push, a uh, big push uh, at the polls. And then the day of the election, I think, is just going to be overwhelming. Poll worker Kimberly Johnson told us that out of all the voting locations in Waller County, this location in particular had almost 500 ballots casted the first day of early voting. It was, it was, it was very, it was full. I think we had here alone 497, yeah. Shuttles taking students to and from the polls like this one from Prairie View's main campus are helping college voters in casting their ballots during the early voting period. This week alone, the Waller County Community Center has seen an increase in Prairie View student voters. After speaking to multiple volunteers, it's safe to say that a lot of the residents are coming out closer to Election Day, but majority of them have voted early. Reporting in the city of Waller, Texas, I'm Tatiana Battle.